cracking, everybody. Buenos dias. Saludos. I am uh, in between classes right now. I got a class in about an hour. I think I'll do this video real quick. I actually should be reading, but I'm going to save and finish a book this weekend. I have to read a book. Should have been done with it already, but it is what it is. I'm just being lazy, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, um, I want to talk about the lefty and lucky incident again. Because it continues to be something that's in the middle of the social media light right now. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody has their opinion. Everybody's got to take their little jabs. They're picking sides. I'm not here to do that. I'm going to tell you from my experience as, a, as the way I conduct myself or hold myself responsible that if I'm loaded, drunk, whatever something comes out of my mouth I'm responsible not nobody else should never be to the point you let yourself lose who you are or or to the point that you get that loose to say things you shouldn't say so, me personally, I hold myself responsible for any time that I've been drunk, loaded, back in the past. I'm not going to say I've never done it because I have done it. I was young and dumb. And sometimes I, I let the alcohol get the best of me. Uh, but it's rare and few times in my life. I did it, I think like two years ago, I let it get out of hand too, with drinking one day. I drank to the point that I didn't know what I was doing anymore, and that's not a good thing. That's not acceptable for anyone to do that, to just drink to the point or get loaded to the point you don't know what you're doing anymore. You're out of bounds. That's just wrong. It's not a good example for anybody, and it shouldn't be done. So... As far as using an excuse about, oh, I was loaded or he was loaded or we're both loaded, there is no excuse for that. I've seen something by, by Lucky today that he said he made it seem nonchalant. We'll discuss it. I ain't worried about it kind of attitude towards it. And... Let's be honest. Lucky doesn't need Lefty in his life to make him or break him. He just doesn't. Lucky's going to be fine the way Lucky is. Lucky is going to um, keep moving and progressing like Ducky does. And vice versa. Lefty doesn't need Lucky. It's not going to help him. It's not going to hinder him. It's just... Life's going to go on before them two individuals. Life's going to go on, and they're going to do what they do. Uh, I would have liked to see two grown men talk the next day away from social media, away from anybody, just talk as two grown men and resolve this issue. One for themselves, but two, for the people that, that generally watch it and, and hold these gentlemen in high regards. I think it would be beneficial to everybody if these two individuals got together, came to a resolution instead of continuing the, the back and forth. Because now Lefty got in, did an interview with, uh, let's just say, the comadre. Okay, I'm not going to say his name. He's a comadre, not Lefty, the other dude. He's a comadre, and I don't, uh, he always seems to find his way into this kind of crap. I didn't really look at the interview. I 
But I think I just know it was a bad look. It was a bad look for both these individuals to go the route they went, and they continue to keep it in the social media realm. They keep on on instead of just reaching out to each other and talking. Hey, homie, I fucked up. I fucked up. This and that. I did this. I did that. Whatever. Now people were. One of them insinuating they had something. I'm pretty sure the other one probably too. I'm not. I don't know. And it's uh, it's a shame that it has to go that route. You know what I mean? Uh, it's not a, like I said. It's not a good look for anybody. I hope. In the near future, this doesn't happen again with a different podcast. I hope that this doesn't hurt anybody's career or their goals or, or anything of the sort. Let them, uh, hopefully they can move on, let it go, move on. It's obviously, they're not going to talk and find any kind of a agreement on something. They're just going to continue to bicker over the Internet. I see a lot of people commenting on it. I've seen almost, I think almost every channel comment on it. I've seen every channel, uh, even ones that that aren't even, uh, aren't aren't even in the lifestyle. (laughs) I see this one guy that, um, he continues to try to push his, his group segment and make it part of everybody else's conversation which is their their group segment is not a very popular just put it that way so I've seen everybody come up with all kinds of different c- c- scenarios and people talking shit about this one people talking about shit about this one and I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to talk shit about either one. I just hope they can come to a resolution because it does help our hand there in the long run. And just push forward, man, on a positive note. note. (laughs) Right now, have a blessed one. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.